Hello, my name is Brent Green, and I'm here to talk about how to keep fountains clean today. A self-contained urn fountain such as this one here makes it a lot easier to keep clean because the surface area here that is the top of the fountain, a couple of reasons, it has a very small surface area so that leaves and debris minimally collect in this area here. Secondarily, there's always a push up from the water that's flowing out of this urn where water flows down. So most debris that floats on the top here gets pushed over the side rather than settling in the actual fountain itself. And that keeps it clean, generally speaking, more clean than an in-ground fountain. The other thing that I like to do periodically, especially during the warm months of the year, is add a little bit of chlorine, just chlorine that you would use for a, a, a spa, like a granular chlorine. Add like a capful in here, maybe every two weeks in the summertime. Generally with the warm temperatures, algae can bloom in a fountain when the water is warm. And that's what the chlorine eradicates. In the winter, not so much because the water is colder, but a little bit of chlorine periodically is not a bad thing. Okay, this fountain that we have here before us is an in-ground fountain that's made out of recycled broken concrete and has a pond liner made out of, out of plastic in the bottom. There's a tube that recirculates the water up down into the fountain. A little harder to keep clean than the other fountain because it contains plant material, so you can't use chlorine in this or it can kill your plants. Um, but occasionally, because this one here is open to the elements, the trees above and that type of thing, we've got to go in periodically and just bell the water out or take a net and remove all of the leaves that fall in the fountain uh, in order to keep the water clean. Because as leaves break down, they can change the pH of the water and, and create stagnation. With an in-ground fountain such as this one, you want to keep it clean and, and probably go through and clean it several times a month in the summertime. And in the wintertime, probably every couple of months. And that should do it.